And with that, have a good afternoon. Thank you very much, Fahan, and uh, welcome back to the briefing room, all of you. So, where have you been? <laughs> I missed you yesterday. Okay, today we are going to uh, start with uh, the first uh, um, official day of the visit of um, uh, the President of the General Assembly to Qatar. Uh, she arrived in Qatar earlier this morning for an official visit to take part in the Doha Forum and participate as well in a seminar on multilateralism at the College of Law at Qatar University. The PGA started her day with a visit at the Al Shalfala Center for Persons with Disabilities. Mrs. Pinosa talked to children with special needs and learned about the work being done at the center uh, to promote inclusion for all. She used the visit to restate her commitment to the rights of people with disabilities as part of her seven priorities. Also, the president of the GA met leading women from the Qatar Foundation for Social Work and is finishing her day of work as a guest speaker at the seminar Multilateralism Under Threat, the challenges facing the UN in the lead up to its 75th anniversary, which is being organized this particular event by the College of Law at Qatar University. The PJ's delegation includes her chef de cabinet, her advisor on peace and security, a coordination officer, and a communication advisor, as well as her personal assistant. And all travel costs are being covered by the state of Qatar. I would like to um, correct here. PJ's agenda, apart from the meetings I have just mentioned, she also has granted interviews to the following media outlets, Isvestia, La Stampa, The Hindu Times, Now, and Al Jazeera English television stock to Al Jazeera show. And on Saturday, the 15th, we won't be here, but the PJ will speak at the opening uh, of the Doha Forum. And this is a very short briefing. Do you have any questions? No? Okay, Stefano, and afterwards we go. Just because she's in Qatar. Yes. Just curious. Um, is, uh, because there have been a lot of tensions between Qatar and other country of the area, is any, and now Qatar decision to get out of OPEC, uh, is any of this meeting that the President, the Secretary, and President of General Assembly had that, um, with the leadership of Qatar, has any, did she, is working as a bridge to try to, uh, you know, work on these tensions and see if uh, the situation can get better with the relation of Qatar with, the, with other countries, especially Saudi Arabia. As a matter of fact, the PGA is talking uh, today, uh, as we speak, on the uh, uh, importance of multilateralism and, of course, her uh, her role as the President of the General Assembly, cooperation among countries. Um, I am not aware of any of the uh, topics that you, that you just mentioned in, the, in your question, but uh, the bilateral meetings that she will be uh, having in Qatar will be on our website on the discussions that she will be having uh, with um, uh, you know, interlocutors there. But thank you for your question. Go ahead. Yes, I would like to ask you about Monday, the Global Compact on Refugees. Mm -hmm. First, what is your expectation? How many countries will be in favor of it? And also another question, the mm -hmm. Global Compact on Migrants was very controversial in many countries, in Germany as well. well. What is your explanation? The Global Compact on Refugee doesn't seem to be quite as controversial. Okay, by the way, uh, you just mentioned Germany, and um, I would like to invite all of you to uh, visit our uh, YouTube channel. We have uh, the videos on a daily basis of the, uh, the work of the President of the General Assembly, uh, heads of states and government that she is uh, meeting, also uh, other meetings that she's having with civil society representatives. And uh, because you just mentioned Germany, uh, she also had uh, the opportunity to uh, exchange uh, uh, some thoughts uh, with uh, um, uh, Ms. Merkel, Angela Merkel, uh, who was present there, as you know. Um, on the, you mentioned the, your first question is actually about the Global Compact on Refugees, and uh, we, um, 
know that uh, the the consideration by the General Assembly will be on the 17th, on Monday. Uh, on further uh, details, I would like to refer you to UNHCR, so they are here based in New York and they have more details on this. And uh, of course, we're not in a position to say how many countries uh, are going to, uh, how they are going to express themselves. I mean, the countries will be uh, 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 taking action uh, in the session itself, and uh, I would like to uh, just remind us that uh, the date is the 17th, Monday. On the Global Compact uh, uh, on Migration, uh, for migration, I should uh, say, uh, as you know, we have uh, an endorsement, uh, an adoption, uh, uh, first of all, in Marrakesh uh, by consensus, uh, from uh, the countries uh, which were present there. And uh, the endorsement uh, is expected to the 19th of December uh, here in New York, so two days after the global, that is a Wednesday, yeah, if I'm not uh, uh, mistaken. And then uh, the, the president is very, uh, she's looking uh, forward to a strong, uh, 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 session on on uh, on the 19th, uh, she will be there uh, as well. Uh, she has said before uh, that uh, immediately after the adoption in Marrakesh, uh, this is a, 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 a strong sign that uh, multilateralism works, that countries are cooperating. On the other hand, uh, we are not going to uh, say that uh, the there were there weren't questions about uh, or positions or reflections about some points of uh, of uh, this document of this global compact but at the uh, at the same time the president was clear in saying that the doors are open this is a non legally binding document and she herself believes that once this document is uh, uh, being implemented uh, the global compact is being implemented uh, countries or or you know any not only countries but uh, uh, any parties with uh, opinions and, uh, and doubts or reflections will see for themselves that it is a, a useful uh, tool uh, to uh, deal with the, the question of migration that uh, is a question that's very present uh, nowadays and we cannot go away from it. So, uh, yes, please Just go as ahead. a follow-up, what, what are your thoughts? Why is the Global Compact on Refugees not quite as controversial as the one on migrants? Um, I don't think we, uh, it's appropriate uh, uh, for us uh, to make any analysis uh, on, on different global compacts. There are two important uh, steps, two important uh, compacts uh, that are being considered by the General Assembly, and it's up to member states uh, uh, to make their uh, statements, and uh, that we are going to see uh, on the day, on the 17th, first of all, for the Global Compact on Refugees, and of course uh, on the 19th for the Global Compact on Migration that has been already uh, already uh, adopted. Uh, so, any other, any further questions? Yeah, well, follow up on yeah. this is of course. then is the sh does she uh, does the president uh, um, expect that during the the vote in the General Assembly on this compact there will be you know countries will be had. I mean, the con even countries that were not in Marrakesh mm -hmm. will support. I mean, this is that her expectation. Well, she said before that uh, you know countries which not which didn't have actually uh, the the opportunity to to go to Marrakesh uh, will of course uh, be present here, and uh, uh, her her commitment to this uh, global compact uh, is is definitely that uh, uh, there will be uh, that countries will get together, will join, and will help to be more education about uh, the global compact itself. What uh, it's there. Uh, what needs to be uh, promoted, uh, and she is uh, counting uh, on the help of uh, uh, the countries. Uh, as you know, there are 23 objectives in the Global Compact for uh, Migration, and um, we uh, have been dealing, the president was very clear, Mrs. Spinoza said before, uh, with uh, erroneous information and perceptions and interpretations uh, that now uh, must be dealt with, and the countries can help, of course, but not only countries, I mean, um, everyone, um, you know, the, the role of the, the media uh, outlets are, is also very important in helping, uh, you know, clarifying the issues that need to be clarified to some people. Uh, Monica, Monica, just yes. uh, to ahead. clarify this, the Secretary General uh, did a speech in Marrakesh, mm -hmm. and uh, at least me personally, I think there was a strong speech. He talked about falsehood, he talked about 
I guess we, we didn't specify. Of course, he doesn't point. He doesn't mention who, but he's saying that on this global compact on migration, there has been a falsehood that's been spread, and that's what happening. It's still happening. So uh, my question here is, what that's, uh, in this occasion or next week, what the president of the of the General Assembly will will do to uh, um, continue the discussion in the sense that. Why, they, from the UN, from the leadership of the UN, at least the Secretary General did finally, but why there is not a, a stronger, um, um, a stronger um, way to deal with the country or government or politicians that uh, spread falsehood on what this global compact on migration is in reality? Okay, first of all, I think we should go uh, uh, step by step, yeah? <laughs> Uh, first of all, we are talking here about uh, uh, the Global Compact for Migration, which was adopted in Marrakesh, and now it's, uh, uh, it's scheduled to be endorsed on the 19th of, uh, of December, as we all know. This is uh, the technical parts of uh, these steps that ne need to be made. Uh, Mrs. Spinoza gave a, a press conference, and also it's uh, there on our, on our YouTube, where she is talking about uh, what happens after that uh, endorsement. Yeah? So she uh, will designate co-facilitators to carry intergovernment consultations to define the modalities of the International Migrant Migration Review Forum, which is uh, happening. And this will examine the progress of the implementation on the compact, okay, every four years, starting in 2022. So these are steps that are uh, being uh, made towards this particular uh, compact and document. Uh, when we're talking about uh, misconceptions, uh, that is your question, when I talk about erroneous information, so uh, she expects that uh, all uh, member states and, uh, and you know, and everybody has a role there, civil society, non-government organizations, everybody which is, who is actually uh, uh, interested in, in promoting this compact and seeing its successful implementation has a role and a responsibility to uh, help to put uh, things in the right place. So uh, I think that's the most important uh, message here. And as journalists, as we all know, uh, uh, we have a, a very important, uh, uh, I would say, uh, role and work to help to bring this uh, uh, correct information uh, to the public. Yeah. So I have the, the I have the, the document here. This is the document. So you go on the internet. Everything is here. The 23 objectives. It's uh, you know it's a yeah, matter of getting again, it's into studying the word it. For, you, you use the word error. 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 Okay. I, for what I understand, the Secretary General mm -hmm. finally is saying that these are not error. Are not like something. Somebody is not seeing the truth, or maybe we should explain it better. Mm -hmm. These are false mm -hmm. information. What it means, false, it looks like on purpose, they spread false information about the global compact. Yes, and uh, you know, I cannot speak uh, on behalf of the Secretary General, but the, the PJ herself uh, used the, the, the expression that uh, s the information, sometimes this information is uh, maliciously uh, spread. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we know that, and our, our job here mm -hmm. is actually to, uh, you know, bring the right information to, uh, out there, and uh, she's counting on countries to help uh, this education uh, work. Okay, I think you have the, the last word. Go ahead. Just one more technical yeah, question no for problem. Monday. Mm -hmm. Would it be by acclamation or a counted vote? And if it's a counted vote, simple majority? Okay, the, this is uh, the, the action that is gonna be taken is gonna be announced at the beginning of the, of the, the meeting, and it's a decision by member states. Yeah, okay. I see you tomorrow, and I wish you a wonderful afternoon. Take care. Thanks.